again, and welcome back to the Rhyming Items channel, where we sell you, over the phone, from your television, items entirely which rhyme. Some of them are, are functional, some of them are not, all of them will rhyme, and that's how you are guarantee. Uh, what have we got first up for sale today? Well, today we're selling these fine beaches, beach peaches. The finest beaches, peaches that you can get around. Tell me about beaches, peaches. What's, what's so special about a beaches peach that makes it different from a peach? They're this beautiful sandy color. They're just so juicy and amazing. Oh, lovely. What a wonderful product idea. Uh, next up on the channel, we have Bad Idea Beer. It's beer. You know that kind of drink where you have some, you have some alcohol and you just, your, your judgment's just a little bit off. You do stuff that you really shouldn't do that seems like a good idea. And you, you come back to it later and go, I really shouldn't have done that. Like the time I bought that giant Jenga. Exactly. Guaranteed, every time you have some bad idea beer, you'll just get all of those those bad ideas right out of your system by having bad ideas and probably acting on them. Bad idea beer. Just go in knowing it's going to happen and you won't be surprised. It sounds great. What have we got next on the channel? Up next is the No Hassle Tassel. Tell us about the No Hassle Tassel. Anything you want to attach tassel to. Literally anything. It sticks to literally anything. This block of ice? Tassel. My nipple? Tassel. This radiator? Tassel. A ferret? Tassels. <laughs> and, uh, will, will they ever tangle up? Absolutely. They're tassels. <laughs> Next up on the channel, we have Rat Tat. It's pointless accessories that your rat really does not need. But they kind of want anyway. Get them for them. They're never going to use them, but who cares? It's rat tat. Exactly. Try this tiny adorable rat bat, the rat hat, and this rat doormat. And the rat cat. It's not going to like the rat cat. It really isn't. Do we have any products left on our channel today? I think that's everything today. So I'm going to start putting tassels on the camera crew. I'm going to continue to find more pieces of tat we can sell your rat. Thank you very much again for joining the Rhyming Items channel. Thanks for joining us. Greetings. Welcome to the Satanic Ritual. Thank you, and I'm glad that you've, um, you've, 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 you've taken into account my dietary needs. This, uh, th this very thoughtful of you. This is an entirely vegan satanic ritual. Please enjoy the carved remains of the carrots. The disemboweled peppers and the decimated remains of a thousand innocent chickpeas. So what you're saying is that she got some some carrots enormous. Yes, crudités over there. Duh. Then enjoy the blood of many thousands of grapes. Oh, you got wine. Nice. Uh, no, just just grape juice. Oh, okay. Well, that's still that's still that's still pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um. I think Jerry's gonna be here about five. You, you, you and I. Sorry. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Elder Gerald will be here in about five minutes. Are you ready for the sacrifice? I'm very ready for the sacrifice. What, what are we placing in the centre of the altar? <coughs> you know, you know, it's all right, friend. If you want to drop the 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 dark the dark gloomy voice, we're here to do a ritual. It's all. If you don't have to put on all the gravel to do it. Thank you very much. I've been terribly worried about the whole situation. Oh, it's, it's fine it's, with you. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, you know, the, the whole idea that this has to be dark and metal is all right. Well, absolutely. You know, I, thought, I try to sound as dark and demonic as possible. Obviously, you want to keep up appearances. Right, so what are we putting in the middle of this sacrificial satanic ritual circle, then? Well, I pressed this tofu. Ooh, ooh. What, have you, you made it look all dark and evil, have you? No, I've just pushed it. I know the Dark Lord doesn't like too much fluid in the tofu. Or was he drained it off a bit? Yeah, put it in my tofu press. I made it specially out of a couple of bits of perspex. Right, well, I suppose we'll get ready to do things with Satan then. Yeah, oh, look, here he comes now. Praise Dark for Lord greetings. Praise the Dark Lord. Hail Clive, our Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, pizza. Hi. Um, I I I ordered a pizza and I, I I asked for it without um, without cheese. But you've sent me it with with cheese on it. Ah, uh, was that the trans pizza? Uh, 
Yeah, I am trans, but I don't know what that has to do with me ordering a pizza. Well, you did you did say that you didn't want cheese on it, but uh, we had to make absolutely sure that that's the case. See, you know, we don't we don't we don't want you just rushing into this. This is a life changing decision. Well, well, I I know I don't want I I know I don't want cheese on it because I'm lactose intolerant, and if I eat this cheese, it's gonna cause me great gastric distress. Well, you might think that you're in distress, and obviously we understand that. But what we, we want you to really think about it, really decide if you're definitely, definitely lactose intolerant. That you, you don't want the cheese. This is a thing you can't rush into. We, we've got we've got a couple of different chefs, so one of them will, will will check over your order, and then obviously we'll send them to confer with the second chef, and then in a couple of years we might consider taking the cheese off your pizzas for well, you. Surely I know best what's going to help me because I have cheese, and then everything goes very badly. And when I don't have cheese, everything is fine. And as such, I just want to go. Hey, can I just not have cheese anymore? Well, we. Absolutely understand that that's what you want want to happen, and absolutely we we don't want to try and make you as comfortable as possible. Unfortunately, we, we, there is this procedure that we have to go through because obviously you know you're trans. We can't just have you rushing into decisions that you think are right for you. And how long is it going to take me to to get through this process that you can stop sending me cheese on pizza? Unfortunately, current waiting list you could be looking to up to eight years to get all the way through the process. It's fine, I'll just make my own pizzas without cheese, I suppose. The NHS. the NHS! Waiting lists and not giving you what you need. Ugh. Literally terrifying. Ugh. <laughs> oh, morning, darling. I'm just going to pop downstairs and grab the post. Ah, this has been foretold! What? What are you doing in my hallway? It is the chosen one. You have arisen. I just got out of bed. You have, you have arisen as the text foretold to go on your mighty quest. I'm just going to get the post. Ah, the sacred words. As it was foretold, the chosen one shall rise and fetch the sacred words from yonder hallway. I'm just, lo- I'm just, ugh, I'm in my dressing gown. You shouldn't be here. Indeed, you are wearing the ceremonial ancient robe as it was foretold. The ancient robe of dressing gown. It's not that old. I've only had it a few weeks. It is ancient. Oh, ancient, I, need, I tell you. I need a coffee. Aha! Yes, more proof that you are the one from the ancient texts. You shall imbibe the juice of the power bean and it shall give you the strength to go on your journey. Oh, weird. You're the one doing the quest. Go, go do the quest and then I can leave. Honey, can I'm I... just popping out to do a quest for a strange old woman in our hallway. You don't have to go outside, you just have to go downstairs and get the sacred texts and wear your, dress, your ancient robe and imbibe the juice of the power bean and oh. then I shall be banished back to the primordial realm. Okay, well, bills, bills, bills. Oh. Hmm. The prophecy has been fulfilled! Honey, I actually am going out on a, on a, on a, on a quest, apparently. Yeah, what? yeah. No, look here in this this letter I've just received. It's from uh, my my long lost uncle. Apparently, they fell through time, and they now need me to go and help them slay a dragon that's appeared somewhere uh, outside Chiswick. Is this yes, something to do with yes, you, or? Yes, of of course. I definitely knew that was going to happen, and I wasn't just sending you on a quest because I was bored and needed you to. Wanted you to go get your post and that to be the quest. This was definitely the quest I planned. How did you even get in here? Magic! Also, you probably shouldn't leave your spare key under the doormat. It's a cliche for a reason. (laughs) (sighs) Fran, can I interest you in this glorious meat broom? What? Glorious meat broom, it's made of high quality beef cuts. It can make you a ton of money. A, a meat broom? Why? Glorious meat broom! Why would I want a broom made of meat? How, how is this going to make me money? It's only twenty nine ninety five. It can make you so much money. Everyone who buys one gets a chance to win a cash prize. Okay, Th- is that how I make the money? Is it j- just I, I might win the cash prize? Glorious meat broom! Why do you keep saying meat broom? What is a meat broom? Listen, if you don't buy one, you can't enter the sweepstake. 
<laughs> Jane did not warn me of where that was going in advance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I promise you listeners that was a very genuine groan do you need a bra what kind of a bra do you need a bra that will tell someone to remove themselves from your almond from my almond yes off my nut bra <laughs> <sighs> Jacob Marion wants to know do you need a bra that will suspend you in the air from ten different sturdy anchoring points? I really do. Hang ten bra. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jacob, for being the first person to send us their own bra joke. Thank you. It made me very happy that people are making up their own bra Hooray, jokes. Hey, we got an email. I, I'll need to find who it was from, <laughs> but we got an email from someone who was like, me and my friends have started doing the bra jokes. I was like, oh. <gasps> This makes me very happy. It, it was a good afternoon. You and I came up with that game on the on a walk around the park. Yeah, it, we we were just going for a long walk, and that was how we kept ourselves amused. Uh, do do you, do you want to know if I need a bra again? Do you, do you need a bra? Uh, what, what kind of bra? Do you need a bra that will criticise your choice of a sand tree? Yes. Your basic bra. Ah. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Sandshrew is a basic Pokemon in the Pokemon trading card game that we talked about earlier. We were playing the Pokemon trading card game when I came up with that Indeed. one. Indeed. Tee hee hee hee. Do you need a bra that will help a dyslexic person find their way to a drinking establishment? I do. That way, bra. That way, bra. That way, bra. Do you need a bra that will arrange your change jar by value? Yes. Sweet bra. <laughs> Do you need a bra that will tell you when you've been on the, the theme park ride too many times and you need to leave? Yes. Get off it, bra. <laughs> <laughs> do you need a bra that will tell you if you should do something or not? Right. Don't do nothing, bra. <laughs> do you need a bra that will help you locate that clock that you've been trying to find? Definitely. Time's up, bra. <laughs> Do you need a bra that will tell you what time to start the forest fire? Okay. 420 blaze it, bra. <laughs> <laughs>